or good morning. It's a Tuesday morning. So we will channel, we think Tuesday morning means it's chilly, must be time for Friday pun day medieval puns. Top five, my favorite medieval puns. Let's do this. The first one, uh, a very eligible young lady uh, popped down to uh, see a wedding gift from her husband-to-be who'd given her this beautiful plot of land. But when she got there and had this massive fort on it, really defensible, like on the ocean, really, really great fort, but like, but the river going into it, the water was quite brackish and not particularly nice. The hills were really kind of not particularly well put together. And she's complaining to her mum. And her mum says, darling, it's the fort that counts. Thank you, thank you. That's our that's our first pun of the day. Second pun, Sir Galahad and Sir Gawain are heading up to Nottingham to sort out this sheriff. And they stop into a tavern because it's starting to get a bit dark. And the tavern keeper says, uh, what can I do for you two sirs? And Galahad says, uh, we'd like a room for two nights. Thank you, thank you. Uh, another one you can do this for, for students if you're talking about sources. Uh, or a particular type of source that we like to talk about when it comes to the establishment of democracy in 1215 with King John. You can say, oh, actually, when they were going through all the documents and, and finding it, they realised that one of the dukes was actually um, illiterate, unable to, to actually uh, read or write. So they actually drew the main ideas for democracy into a little comic strip. Apparently it's called the Manga Carta. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh, next one, there was, uh, this one might take a little bit of explaining, but you, if you do it well, it, it, you set it up nicely. Uh, monasteries back in the day, in medieval times, were very, very, very tight with money. They really had to make sure they made the most of their dollars. So they actually had an order of monks who would follow around woodcutters so woodcutters by the king, they would be ordered to go out into the forests and, and they would have to kind of cut down trees, etc, etc. And these, these monks would literally follow the woodcutter around and every sweep of the axe, they would collect the little chips of wood and they would take these chips home and use them as fuel for the fires or, or for, for gardens if they, were, if they got too wet or if it was a different type of wood. Uh, so they were called the Order of Chipmunks. Indeed. Indeed, the, the silence in the car is reminiscent of what you should be expecting. Uh, and this one, always a classic, let's bring a bit of romance into, into town. Uh, you say, oh, I, I organized a special night for my girlfriend. I heard what she wanted, so I knew exactly what to do. I brought home my chain mail and uh, some Mr. Sheen, some polish, and, um, and presented it to her and said, this is what we're gonna do. And she looked at me a little angry and said, I wanted you to take me out to a to a tavern or to a to a restaurant. Why on earth are we doing this? And I said, What are you talking about? I thought you wanted a night in shining armor. So there you go, there's Wimbledon's puns. Uh, Friday fun day, some medieval puns for you to enjoy on your commute, or as teachers always seeking to bring joy into the classroom through terrible dad puns. That's what we do here as a bit of a time off relaxing at Wimbledon Channel. Catch you next time.